Nas. Yes. You're here because it's your birthday. Yes. So happy birthday. Thank you so much. You've been in the hip hop game for over 20 years. Yeah. How have you seen the art evolve? Because what was happening 20 years ago plus mm -hmm. is not what's happening today. No. Um, well, I saw it uh, come from on the corner with the guys uh, with the radios and, and dudes break dancing on the streets everywhere. And today it's kind of lost. Integrity has lost its meaning, it's lost its love which is why I made a Hip Hop Is Dead album. You say Hip Hop Is Dead, and yet, still sells records, yeah. you're still selling records, you're still a hip hop artist. Yeah. So, what's dead? The realness. Here's what's deep about that. Hip Hop lyrics from the beginning right. have, in a way, glamorized thug life. Guns, drugs, what, whatever. It's in not a really, way, glamorized. In a way, it's a lot of posturing. Right, yeah, you know, for sure. on this, on that. It, it kind of pushes you. It doesn't make all people want to go grab a gun and go do what the lyric says, but it kind of makes you say, I'm tough, I can survive out here. So, it's, it's needed. How do you feel when you're off stage, in general? How's your self-esteem? Do, do you feel like you need to be saying those things to feel like you're pumped up and ready to go? Nah, I mean, you know, I, when I'm on stage, I puff up, I become, I, 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 I become, I embody everything my music is. Once I walk off, I'm chilling. Well, you know, it's funny. You're almost never photographed smiling, ever. It made me think, <laughs> are you never, ever happy? You know, you have the attitude of New York City, the attitude of the street. I you know? live in New York City. I'm smiling all the time. Well, you're gorgeous, and you should. Look who's talking. I mean, and P.S., you should be smiling all the time. You're rich. you got a beautiful family. People respect you. Lighten up, babe. Doesn't it look better? This is my Don't smile, you. though. Look. Show me angry. Now you know what. Don't I have, show me I angry. have the same face for every every emotion. It's like I'm smiling now. You must be the hardest person to date, honestly. <laughs> uh, that would I'm, make me I'm, insane. No, no, I'm the best person to date. You're the best person to date. I, I okay. Think so. Give me your online dating profile. You decide to, to uh, do J Date, for example, um, or OK Cupid. What's your profile say? Charismatic. Calm, poised. Um, insightful. What are your mantras? One would be life is good. One would be never stop, never settle. What else? Um, your children are your true gifts. You know? I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Speaking of our cute kids, my two sons are adopted. They're wow. African American. Wow. And I was thinking about you and uh, the kerfluffle of a few years ago around the N-word. Mm -hmm. You're going to use the N-word for an album title, but it became a bigger conversation and a lot more than just an album title. When my babies grow up and say, Mom, what is this? What is, the, what is this word? What does it mean? What am I going to tell them? The truth. I mean, you know what it's like. You've been around. You know what racism is. You know what discrimination is. You know you have your, your your job cut out for you, you know, but it's great that you can tell them because you come from a different cultural background than they are. You can research it together and experience it together and get a whole different answer for both of yourselves, you know? You tweeted something the other day by Marvin oh, Gaye boy. that I thought was oh, really boy. interesting. Oh, why did you tweet something else that I should know about? Don't know. No, you're good. You, what, what, what you said. What, what? What you what said. What was it? What did you do? I don't know. Did you drunk tweet? A tipsy tweet. That is the worst thing. You know, that should be one of your mantras. No tipsy tweeting. I didn't read the, the bad tweet, but, yeah. but the one from Marvin Gaye was uh, that true artists suffer for the people. Yeah. Why does there have to be suffering? I wish there was no suffering. It's, it just comes with the job. Some of the greatest work comes from pain or some great work comes from, from love, from loss. It depends. Would you forgo the suffering for less great work? No. No. Not like you could forgo it anyway, right? No, you can't. Turning 40 is a big deal for you, right? Yeah. It's a benchmark on many levels. It's, um, I've accomplished so much, you know, two beautiful children. Um, done so much in my, my life. I survived. So turning 40, piece of cake. Piece of cake. 
Well, yeah. in your case, it's actually a piece of birthday cake with a shot of Hennessy. Yes, yes. Their new campaign, I love, Never Stop, Never Settle. Yeah. What for you means never settling? It's, it's like wanting to be the best at whatever you do. Never stop until you're the best. Like, I don't believe in doing anything halfway. I believe in going all the way. So, you never stop. I have a birthday present for you. I do turn 40 every year, and I celebrate <laughs> right. it at wow. my camp, Camp 40. Hey, I used to call the 30s the 30s club. I didn't have a name for 40. You just named us. Camp 40. We're Camp 40. Check that out. Yeah. Happy birthday, Nas. Thank you, baby.